The organization denies that it covered up the abuse. Maggie Nichols revealed this week that Dr. Larry Nasser started abusing her when she was 15 years old during treatment for injuries, and that USA Gymnastics told her not to report the abuse. WCCO's Kate Raddatz shares how people here locally are showing their support for Nichols breaking her silence. All they want us to do is keep our mouths shut. Maggie Nichols' parents told WCCO that USA Gymnastics told the family not to report any sexual abuse allegations against Dr. Nasser in 2015. We were told not to report it to our authorities, not to report it to the police. We were told that USA Gymnastics would handle it. USA Gymnastics responded on Tuesday, vehemently denying that it tried to silence athletes. A statement said in part, USA Gymnastics kept the matter confidential because of the FBI's directive not to interfere with the investigation. When you find out a child has been abused, you report immediately. You pick up the phone and you call Child Protective Services. USA Gymnastics didn't approach the FBI until Ali Raceman and Michaela Maroney also came forward. They hired their own private investigator, while Dr. Nasser continued to treat young gymnasts at Michigan State. This was a, a concealment job. It was an effort to cover it up. And frankly, law enforcement should be all over this. On Twitter, Raceman called the response from USA Gymnastics hurtful. Stop victim shaming, she wrote. Maggie, we want you to know that you are incredible. Here in Minnesota, this video taken at the Twin Cities Twister Gym in Champlin, where Nichols trained, shows young gymnasts holding up signs for Nichols. They read, Brave, Bold, our hero. At the end, it shows Sarah Jancy, the coach who overheard Nichols talking about the abuse and first reported it. We love you, Maggie. Nasser was sentenced last November to 60 years in prison on child pornography charges. More than 100 girls and other young women have come forward accusing Dr. Nasser of sexual assault. Years, Larry Nasser was responsible for the care of most of the top gymnasts in the United States. In a Michigan courtroom, he pleaded guilty to charges of criminal sexual misconduct and admitted to using his position as team doctor to sexually abuse underage girls. He molested seven girls ranging in age from under 13 to 15. In all, 125 women and girls reported that Nassar assaulted them. I was sexually assaulted by Larry Nassar shortly after my 13th birthday and it was a dark secret until I put the pieces together last September. Nasser worked at Michigan State University and served as the USA Olympic gymnastics team doctor during four Olympic games. High profile gymnasts, including gold medal winners Ali Reisman and Gabby Douglas, say Nasser molested them under the guise of providing medical treatments. I think he's a monster and I think it, it is so disturbing to me what he did to me and so many other people. This is so much bigger than just me. I mean, it's such a, it's such a horrific thing to happen. He was reaching under their leotards or under their clothes with ungloved hands, without consent, without prior knowledge, without another adult in the room, and in many cases, digitally penetrating them. Nasser apologized in court. Dad, I'm so horribly sorry. Also offering so apologies was the USA Gymnastics Organization, which failed to protect girls from Nasser's predatory sexual activities. The organization has compiled reports on sexual misconduct complaints against 54 coaches, but has declined to release them. Gymnasts and their attorneys say the institution's silence enabled their abuser. And for decades, USAG's own policies on reporting sexual abuse created an atmosphere where predators, Larry Nasser, and hundreds of USAG coaches continue to prey on little girls. If you want to stop this, come clean. Fix what happened, get rid of those who did it, and move forward. And instead, what you're getting is stonewalling. Nasser faces additional charges, including possession of child pornography. He faces a possible minimum of 40 years in prison. A judge will decide his sentence in January.